Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today uh, I will start the continuation of the part one of Solomon setup where we are doing the mandatory configuration and I'm creating video on the same. Yeah. So today's topic will be the infrastructure preparation. Before starting infrastructure preparation, I would like to introduce one more part of my channel, which will be Just give a moment, please. Yeah, because I have started one Solomon group uh, that will be only related to our solution manager focused on an SAP Cloud LM. However, the name is showing as Solomon SIG, but it will cover all three topics along with focus, build, and focus run. What you can do on this channel? on this whatsapp group you can ask questions while working if you face any issue on any of the content any of the issue uh, any of the topics and you face some issues you can ask and share contents or links if you think that that will help to others in community that will help to others and you can share you can answer some questions as well. If someone has asked questions and you are aware of the answer, you can answer, you can suggest something. Be interactive in thin group so that I think we will be uh, seeing each other and contents as well as behavior, as well as the, uh, we will try to be uh, specific. So this uh, motive of this group is to communicate with each other in any topics related to these three modules. Yeah. So I would uh, recommend all of you to please scan this QR code and please subscribe to this channel. Yeah. And also I have to, there's a second QR code is for my YouTube channel. And the first is for Solomon Group. So if you want, if you have not done as of now, you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe this channel. And please share with your friends, even the WhatsApp group, you can share the link as well, yeah? So you can, WhatsApp group, you can take a screenshot, you can take uh, from your camera, you will open in a web browser and also in WhatsApp group. So please add yourself and please try to be interactive while working. If you ask any question, definitely some people will not be able to answer, but definitely they can give some suggestion that how it will work, yeah? So this was the first introduction of these Solomon group. So please uh, add, add yourself into group and please be yourself and learn how much you can do that. Yeah. So now we can start with our infrastructure preparation. Let me share that. Please be uh, connected and stay tuned. Yeah, so we are on Solman setup screen and in previous video, I had completed system preparation. So while recapping this one, everyone knows that what is the meaning of these steps coming here. So each and every step has some content. You have to do some activities. And if you want, you can see some uh, can, uh, display documents as well. So I think that will help you to execute the uh, activity how you can do that even it is manual or automatic yeah so let's go for today's topic is for infrastructure so if i talk infrastructure preparation it is a long topic i can see that it is will take a longer time so i will try to cover it one if not possible then i'll create two videos on infrastructure part so in infrastructure what we will do that first we can we have overview that manage import of content sld connections lmdb and lmdb content check this is step number one so let's go in first okay so these options this many options giving here is enables and it is your decision decision that how you are importing content to your LMDB means as per legacy view first what happened the Solomon gets connected with Solomon gets connected with uh, SLD means central SLD and then into LMDB 
ancr content update and uh, happens in the same way so now here the cr content is cim contents how it will get updated so you can see there are many options now we can see automatic import to lmdb so there is no connection between the uh, sld it will directly connect to lmdb yeah so there are some prerequisites here that this job will require to run and this option will be available without sld you can see that so now the thing is that you have to maintain this job you have to run this uh, while setting up the job you have to maintain this as per the given document and if you need further information you can just follow this note yeah okay the let me open the highlighter yeah so now what i can say that now the manual importing lmdb so this is automatic update which will be done by the job and now and the user will be sm underscore sm2b now the second is coming like manual import to lmdb so now it is similar to lmdb import but the thing is that now difference you can download and import cr contents into lmd manually it is not done by the job you can use this content uh, report or lmdb import content and the requirement that you do not the same that you do not need an sld for synchronization of lmdb manual import to sld so like our legacy way that first cr content is updated to sld and then it comes to lmdb so there is no changes and automatic now the new option has given as automatic import to sld means there is no need to update cr content manually into sld it will be done automatically by this job and this user role you can see here and these are the uh, format of the protocols or the path you can use and again you have to create some of the users and uh, the urls connection in between so this is the first option so it is a general way that people are having business system so directly they we go via this sld option but yes now sap has given option whether you can you want to use sld or not now the second is comes as sld connection see if i click on this one it is open a new window just give me a moment please okay so this is the destination which was created by the configuration lmdb sync dest one now this is the target host for sld this is the path prefix and this is sld api user so that is uh, given by the user and this user will be used to sync data so i mean to say whatever the things it has given here you can use that and this option is available for you yeah so you can create from here as well as you can create from configuration document as well just see this session yes just give me a moment please i want to come to this one and it goes to this one okay so this is the url this is user and this is a uh, source for lmdb but here there are many options comes but now because you are connecting sld to lmdb so that's why it is source for sld source for lmdb it is and the use changed by this user yeah go to next which is lmdb okay now whenever you create or you add lmdb sld it will take some time to uh, 
synchronize all systems sometimes depending upon the number of systems he can take up to 12 to 24 hours as well and once it is synchronized completely and active for real time then the status will come to green if i click on this one now you can see this is the destination this is url this is for servers and namespace should be always sld slash active rank of source namespace means what would be the source sld will be the source and lmdb will be the target so rank for source should always be less than the target else if you make changes to 2000 to first and second thousand the second to 1000 then data will not sync from sld to lmdb yeah so you have to make sure this this is a background job which runs to uh, pull data from systems to uh, sld and sld to lmdb so this is for lmdb this job will making sure that all data coming uh, uh, from SLD to LMDB is correctly. Yeah. Now what next? Now this LMDB content check. This is only set up for ABAP and Java for our own system from Solman. So first you have to select the Solman system, which is your Solman ABAP system. And this is for Solman Java system, as it is mentioned here. Now, this step we will set up connectivity between the BAP and Java, enable connectivity and diagnostic agent authentication. So, I think in this one, there's nothing but just only we have to give the Solman URL as well as Solman ABAP and Java URL, which can be accessed internally and some can be accessed externally and after doing that just you have to save and check whether connectivity is green or not this is all automatic activity so do not have to do anything just to have to execute all all required settings and table update will be done by the system automatically so do not need to check anything yeah, yeah. now this is the diagnostic and authentication when here we will see that how many agents we have authenticated and how many are not authenticated and if you click on the link it will op it will open a link with diagnostic agent administration uh, this is the configuration uh, means certificate algorithm which algorithm we are using so in this case we are using 1024 key length and rsa but now in uh, new we have also come with 2048 algorithm yeah key length next we have now bw setup so in the bw we have some options to see the whether which system is you are going to use as a bw is it solution manager or some of other systems or separate client so just you have to select here that use a standard solution or use separate system or separate client so it depends but nowadays it is recommended to use the bw system as a production client yeah uh going for this is a bw time zone so it would be ct okay now in 3.2 we have to create some users these users will be used for bw activities so smboc and S smbw act these are two users which will be created and these are template users so you can create by default from here yeah now this is automatic activity so just you have to execute all by going in edit mode and these settings will be done automatically now the fourth step will go for ca interscope this is ca interscope wiley interscope and now this is created with once a 10.7 version and this is standalone 
so this is we will cover So first you have to install it on this path. It is installed in this diagnostic agent. It is uh, connected to SMD A98. This is server name and the host name is this one. Okay, so now uh, this is the host on which this uh, uh, this uh, while endoscope is enabled and port is used 6001. And this is online so what you have to do if you want to add new you have to click on discover in scope em and then you have to give the diagnostic agent so this is the diagnostic agent which will be used and you have to give the path on which path you have installed the uh, this while endoscope and after that you have to click on ok so this entry will come automatically and after that you have to add users to as a connection user after doing this, if you go next, it will give some options to execute all. This is for email setup communication. So it is optional, but by default, it comes as this one, no reply mydomain.com. So it is by default, basis person can activate it. And you need to know that which uh, port is enabled for SMTP. Yeah. Now the CRM basics. So this is automatic activity. Some of them, some of them are manual activities. So you have to go with the documentation, whether you have to see whether it is required for you or not. Yeah, because it is not necessary that this step will be uh, required for you. So whatever the step is required, please do that. And you can go with the documentation and perform the activities here. Yeah. Now, next. Okay, this is the enablement of all gateway services in SAP Solution Manager. So if you confirm that active perform remotely SAP Gateway, if you have remote SAP Gateway, but it, SAP has a Solution Manager has local gateway. So we will not tick on that, just we can see. Now we can see that its status is all green for every gateway services showing here this is yeah so just you have to activate all because if you click and activate a background job will release and it will activate automatically and after that this is the end of the status now you have to go to complete so again the like the other way around all steps has its own status based on your configuration strategy whether the status is green, yellow, red, but in this case, it is totally green. So now we are come end of this uh, infrastructure preparation. Once you do that, we will go to basic configuration in next video because I don't want to keep the video too long, but I would recommend you all to watch this video till end because in a while ending this video, you'll get, if, get some uh, good information as well as we can have some questions in your mind so you can ask questions in your channel can comment as well as i have given the whatsapp link and whatsapp group you can ask questions there as well by uh, showing the videos yeah by watching the videos you can share with your friends share with your colleagues who are interested in solution manager even joining the uh, whatsapp group for more information yeah Thank you so much, you guys, for watching my videos and have a great day ahead. Thank you.